No, I'm Sarah. Pillow talk! Well, we're doing a gayest moments episode, so I thought I would dress my gayest. You look so cute, and I look like a complete bomb, as usual. No! Don't show me There's the holes. holes. There's a holes in this! Welcome no. back to Pillow Talk Monday. So, most of you are probably watching this because you want to know who is playing Cassie in Almost Adults. Well, we're not going to tell you. What do you mean? We are very excited for who's playing Cassie. Like, we, so excited. So excited. Like, I may have cried a little bit. We wouldn't be making this movie without you guys, and we're so appreciative. Appreciative? That's a, yeah, that's a word. Appreciative. And thankful for everyone who has joined the campaign that we want to be able to share who's playing Cassie with you first. Not you, like, everyone you. Just, like, you, the backers. Just you, you. You with the you in the you. Backers only live stream happening April 1st, the day our Kickstarter closes, and we're gonna reveal Cassie, and you're gonna get to talk to her. And Elise, and Sarah, and oh Adriana. It's and you're gonna get so to ask those questions. Exciting. So it's backers only, so if you haven't checked out the Kickstarter, go look at the perks. You get a live stream just for being part of the campaign, and you can get awesome perks. There's so many cool perks. What are we gonna talk about in this week's episode? So we thought this week that we would talk about our favorite top five lesbian moments in film and television. I've got five. Sarah's got five. We're gonna share. We're gonna share you. our favorite lesbian moments with you. You know, and we thought since we we're gonna be adding to you know LGBT media with almost adults, we we need to share our top five. We need mm -hmm. to just get that. Just out so there. you know, where yeah. the inspiration is coming, coming from. from. My first top lesbian moment is from my favorite LGBT movie of all time. Imagine me and you, Piper and Lena. When they kiss for the first time in her flower shop and roses and thorns are in their butt and it's just been, I love it. My first top lesbian moment was the very end, last episode, season one, L Word, when Alice goes over to Dana's and they kiss for the first time. That shit blew my mind. I, mean, I was like, the wait to season two, like literally couldn't have been longer. It was, it was painful. Um, and I was I wasn't expecting it and I was like, but it makes so much sense. <laughs> Number two, for me, is another one of my all-time favorite couples, oh. Callie and Arizona from Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, in the cow song. My favorite moment with them is when they had, like, broken up, but then they're both in the elevator together, and then Arizona leaves, but then she comes back, and they start making out, and it's, like, slam. Oh my god, when girls kiss girls and they slam against something... My number two is from Allie McBeal, when Callista Flockhart and Lucy Liu kissed. They actually kissed twice. They kissed once in a dream in like a car wash, which... <laughs> so which one's your favorite? So, I would say the like real kiss. Is that the first lesbian kiss you've ever witnessed on TV? I think that was the first lesbian kiss I well, that's ever That's a good witnessed. one. That's a good one then. Mine is basically all of my favorite couples, but the next one right. is... Alex and Marissa from the OC. First of all, anytime Olivia Wilde's in anything, I fucking love her. But anytime she's playing a lesbian or a bisexual, and that's quite a bit, she's pretty much always one of the two. Yeah. It's gonna be one of my favorite moments. <laughs> it's an episode where it's raining in the OC, which never happens, and Marissa goes over to Alex's house and she's soaking wet. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I was soaking wet. <laughs> my number three is Lost Girl, and let's be real, for the lady romance is the only reason we all watch it. Season one, where Bo and Lauren go on a date, because Lauren's gonna teach Bo, like, how to control her whatever the fuck stupid magic <laughs> shit she has, but they're on the date and they're like holding She's hands. A and, yeah, whatever, but that. That was like some build up shit. It was like. I have that power on Adriana. Number four is kind of a different one. Um, it's. Pretty much Kristen Stewart, the entire movie of Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. Especially that scene where she's like approaching the castle and she's on her fucking horse and she has her army around her and her hair she's is like just like gorgeous. She's too. in armor. If that's not a lesbian moment, I really don't know what is. All right, number four, which is probably my favorite, uh, Xena, Warrior Princess. Obviously. I'm going to narrow it down. It's all a lesbian moment in it my is. books. But if you want the most romantic episode with Xena and Gabrielle... It's the episode called Ides of March. There is so much love 
going on in that episode. Sacrifice. Oh my for god. Love. No other lesbian love compares yeah. to that love. Well, There's people, nothing you can ever do that will out love your girlfriend like Xena out loves Gabrielle. That was like back in the 90s too when people like still were in the closet. Okay, my last uh, top lesbian moment. Number five. One of my other kind of uh, guilty pleasure shows is Pretty Little Liars. And I know Emily goes through like 6,000 women, um, <laughs> but one of my favorites is Maya. Sorry if you don't like that. I don't fucking care. <laughs> top five couldn't be a top ten list without Orange is the New Black, Pipex. The, I would say the top lesbian moment is when they kiss again for the first time, like in the chapel. After, after um, Piper's been in the shoe for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and it's like building up for multiple episodes, but I'm really excited for season three because Larry's there's gone. no Larry, so I'm... Okay, those are our top moments. We want to know what your top moments are because maybe we, obviously, I mean, there's so many good ones. We're gonna miss some. I want to read the comments just so I can just Google yeah, all Yeah, leave all your so. top moments in the comments. So if we haven't seen it, we want to watch them. So there's eight more days left to join our Kickstarter campaign. If we double our goal, you guys get Till Least to Us Part Season 2. And everything really extra close. everything extra we make is just going to go into the movie. So it's just going to help us make a better movie. I didn't realize how many people wanted a sexy calendar of Adriana. But... It said sexy awkward, though. So you, I hope you know what you're getting into. <laughs> also, we have picked a date... For the table read, if anyone is still interested in doing that, it's April 25th, time TBA. April, 25th, April 25th. April 25th in Toronto. So you get to meet us, you get to meet the cast, so at least Justin and surprise Cassie, who we're going to find out April 1st. Back and it's like, it's a meet and greet and a table read. So you so. get to hear what the script is for the movie before anyone else. Yeah. And you get to hear the actors do it, so it's pretty it's pretty sweet. And you can see, you can meet all the other characters in the movie, because everyone will be there. Everyone will be there. Sarah everyone has like 3,000 girlfriends right now. It's fucked up. If you're a backer, you get to tell people that I'm your girlfriend, and I will back you up on that. If your friends tweet at me and they're like, yo, my friend said that you was her girlfriend... I think she's lying. I'll be like, she ain't lying. So Sarah has 3,000. I am still at zero, but I'm over it. And if you wanted to maybe get a hint at who Cassie could be, we have a photo up on the page. See if you could figure it out. Go Good to the luck. link in the description. Good Link luck. in the description, and there's a secret photo of Cassie. See you Thanks, next Monday. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.